Hello, hello, what ho! Welcome back to another exciting adventure of the Plain Truth. I'm your host, Travis Finley. I just gotta get a drink. This is gonna be a continuation of interaction with Chat GPT. I should really find out what GPT stands for, but. <clears throat> My next request here is explain the phenomenon of a Fata Morgana. Here's the answer. A Fata Morgana is an optical phenomenon that creates the appearance of complex, distorted, and often magnified, thank you, mirages in the atmosphere. <clears throat> it is named after Morgan Le Fay, a sorceress from Arthurian legends because of the enchanting and deceptive nature of these mirages. Fatamorgana occurs when light rays are refracted or bent and distorted as they pass through air layers of different temperatures. These temperature variations cause the light to bend at different angles, creating a mirage that can be seen above the horizon or on the surface of the sea. The key factor contributing to the formation of a Fata Morgana is the presence of an atmospheric temperature inversion. Normally, the temperature decreases with increasing altitude in the Earth's atmosphere. However, in certain conditions, a layer of warm air can become trapped above a layer of cooler air near the surface. This inversion layer acts like a lens, bending light rays, causing the mirage to form. Now, I'm just going to stop right here because a lot of this description already just, just simply sounds like what causes a mirage. However, a Fata Morgana is a dynamic phenomenon whereas a mirage is a more stable and static. A mirage can remain in, in, an indeterminate amount of time. I've, I've shot off the uh, Channel Islands for hours with no change in the mirage that's out there. However, the Fata Morgana changes moment by moment. Okay? Now... Here, here's the interesting part. Normally, the temperature decreases with increasing altitude. We talked about that in the previous episode. So the surface air closest to the Earth is going to be warmer, higher in temperature, higher in temperature than the air above it. It's going to decrease as it moves away from the... That's just common sense. That just makes sense, right? However, they are suggesting here that somehow warm air sneaks in above cold. So you've got warm air at the surface, cooler air, and then warm air again. Right? Are, are these just observational scientific suppositions? Like, show me the science on this. Show me the measurements of how you determined that that's what was happening. Okay, back to the article. When light passes through the temperature gradient, it undergoes several complex processes of refraction, dispersion, and total internal reflection. Again, this total internal reflection is a no-no for Andrew Thomas Young. When I was doing my uh, lens tests with glass bowls and water and the target of a sailboat, when I sent the video to Andrew Thomas Young and described what I was doing as total internal reflection, he corrected me. So again, I just off the top of my head, I think that Andrew Thomas Young would disagree with this total internal reflection shenanigans. This leads to the distortion and elongation of objects often producing often producing spectacular and surreal effects absolutely <clears throat> common features observed in fatamorganas include 
towering castles. Well, it's not really a castle. It just gives the appearance of like ramparts and and columns and things like that. Because uh, whatever. Okay, so going back, Fata Morgana features include towering castles, cliffs, ships floating above the water. Now, I would disagree with that. That's incorrect. That's what's typically understood as an inferior mirage. I'm sorry. That's typically what's understood as a superior mirage. So ships floating above water with Just trying to think, think back to the the footage that Heath Carmody uh, got, because you did have two images, but it wasn't floating above as if it was displaced and looks like it's floating in the air. So I, I, I'm just kind of quibbling about the spe the specificity here. Uh, features of the Fata Morgana uh, include even multiple images of the same object stacked vertically, which is what I was just describing. So. But the float, the ships floating above the water, that's incorrect if it just stands at that. The appearance of a Fata Morgana can be influenced by several factors, such as <laughs> the curvature of the earth, the distance between the viewer and the mirage, that's true, and the stability of the temperature inversion, I would say that's true, but also the angle at which you're viewing. These factors contribute to the variability and unpredictability of this phenomenon. Fata Morgana mirages are most commonly observed in polar regions, particularly in the Arctic, due to the presence of strong temperature inversions caused by the interaction of cold air with open water or ice. However, they can also occur in other areas where the necessary atmospheric conditions are met, such as deserts or over hot asphalts on sunny days, or over the Chesapeake Bay, or over the Pacific Ocean and the Channel Islands off the coast of California. So this qualification of Fata Morganas are most commonly, that's bullshit. Stop saying that. They happen everywhere when the conditions are right. That's just it. Now, Heath Carmody has gotten more uh, consistent observations, but I've captured mine own, my own here in the Chesapeake Bay and on the coast of California. Okay. Overall, a Fata Morgana is a captivating optical illusion that challenges our perception of reality. Mm, no. Uh, mm, no. When you, see, when you see a Fata Morgana, you see something, or if you see a mirage, whatever. You see a mirage, you see a Fata Morgana. You're going to have to evaluate what you're seeing, but it doesn't challenge your your perception of reality that's just that's just rhetoric right what's i what i find interesting here is is that it doesn't mention except for the uh slight nod of the head to ships floating above the horizon above the water that's a superior mirage so i find it interesting that there's no qualification here of a fata morgana being a class of superior mirage Fata Morgana showcases the fascinating interplay between light, air, and temperature gradients, creating a surreal spectacle that has intrigued and mystified observers for centuries, as well as me right now here in 2023. So, um, you know, how would I correct this? I might think about it. Um, but um, yeah, you, you've got you've got my. All right, this has been another exciting adventure of Chat GPT with the Plain Truth. I'm your host, Travis Finley. Until next time.